Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player. Mitch plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. We're hanging out here at the Nether Hub, standing on our shulker box collection here. Well, the empty ones at least. That's where we kind of keep them stored. And I've got to kill at least five birds with one stone today. Or at least in one episode. Because I've got a plan. You see, I've got all of these supplies moved over here. All of the banner patterns that we've collected over time. We've got all of those. We've got all these various banner collections of all of our various building areas all mapped out here but we've got a problem some of them are missing like individual flags to demonstrate like this is what's there and i like to have at least one for everything like that one's got one where's another section that's missing some maybe yeah off over here i think we're missing like an individual flag banner thing for the derpy stronghold and then one for the blaze farm at the end over there so with that said i thought you know making a banner kind of do-it-yourself kit thing would be pretty cool to have here so i've got all the supplies here we've got the banners in that one we've got a bunch of wool blocks and then over here we've got even more wool blocks we might end up bringing dyes and stuff down here too but I want to add this like right around here. I'm thinking we make like a little stairway here, a little stairway down this way, and then just kind of build it as an offshoot over here. Maybe have this whole thing be like one big window right here. Have it dig down like a little bit more. And then we can go back as far that way as we need to, if we need space, because I don't really know exactly how much space this is going to need. But yeah, I think this might look kind of neat. Plus we can kind of see the window right there to our floor. And if we go back to that floor over there, we can kind of see this little area that we're going to be building in. If we go like right here, it's going to be like right around there. You can see that torch way back there. That's kind of what I've got in mind. I'd also like to do something with how all this is just kind of squared off here. Because whenever I put this in place many, many, many years ago, I had the idea of, oh, we'll just have a big window here downstairs, or down to the bottom of the nether. But it didn't really work out that way, because this is built in like the side of a cliff. So I dug some of this out, to about right there, you can see where it's dug out to. I'd like to have something else to look at down there, other than just like a squared off nether rack. Because it's not that great looking. If you, if you look at it from this angle, it looks kind of strange, actually. So maybe like shaping that up a little bit on this side, maybe a little bit on that side too, and maybe like putting some kind of building or fake structure right there would be kind of cool. Not exactly sure, but if I had time and creativity today, one of those two, well, maybe two of those two, I'd be lacking. Ooh, that's a long drop. But yeah, I'd like to kind of do something with this little like weird corner thing here. I mean, we could just kind of shave all of this nether rack back, make it look more natural. But I don't know. We'll see where, you know, creativity leads me today. This is a really old section of the nether. Oh, I see you over there. Well, you're... Grr, go away. I don't need your help with the remodel. Ow. Let's just go take care of him real quick. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, I still missed. Um, come on. Show your ghastly head. Oh, you're just gonna hide now, huh? Er. Well, anyway, you can kind of see the point here. That's what I'm gonna work on today. We're gonna start with this over here. Maybe continue that same kind of glass pattern, or maybe we do a solid color. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go get the glass first. Well, we've got a bit of an update to share. I think I've liked the shape and general feeling of the building so far. we got like the huge window type thing I wanted to do right there. And we kind of got framed in with some nether brick here and there. Let's get a little bit closer. I kind of want to get the far away look at it first. Eh. Let's see if we can climb up here. I kind of reinforced the ceiling there where there's a little bit of a hole in there with some wood. With a little bit more reinforcement right there holding it up. I think that looks really cool. We did that with like the last little building area we worked on. So I kind of wanted to carry that idea over to here. But then if we get 
even closer up here. And we've got to be careful of those guys. The piglin guys are going to want to come after us. If I can find a good way to get up here. Yeah. Every time it seems like I go a different direction. Aha, here we go. See, we got a little bit of black stone worked into the design too. Which kind of carries off around this way. And then, oh. Let's deal with you. Ow. Yeah, there we go. I went ahead and brought it around here a little bit, but made it look a little bit crumbly. So like, see if you carry around that way. Uh oh. Is there another guy coming? I don't think so. You gotta be very careful. That's a long drop. But yeah. I wanted to kind of have some kind of reinforcement back this way. So we kind of just carried the black stone back just a little bit. I mean, I'll never probably look around that corner again, but just knowing that that's there kind of makes the building feel a little bit more complete rather than kind of having a incomplete corner there. I heard somebody shooting at me. Who's shooting? Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and carry. I've made a little temporary door on this side. Eventually, I don't think we're going to have a way to get out to this area. So once we're done with the exterior, we can move more towards the interior, which we've got a little bit more of it kind of uh, mined out here. And I don't know what we're going to do about floor. Like, what area of this is going to be floor? Like, I want to have, like, this right here, but it messes up our stairway that we had leading down. Because I was kind of doing the, let's see, like a three, and then down one, two, three. Then we had like another three by three with another one, two, three. So I was thinking, well, we could have like a little walkway area around this way here. And that way, if we needed more room for things, we could put like chest on this wall. And then we can still kind of turn around and look at this out here. And then maybe put like miscellaneous decoration or stuff down there and make it look like a little like temporary storage slash work area like maybe hang some of the banners up on the walls here just to make it look like hey this is the default area where you go to get all the banners all your banner needs will be satisfied here but i think next we need to figure out what we're doing on this outside wall here that goes around there maybe on the inside of that over to here and then figure out what we're doing right there we got to figure out the stairway too still plenty of things to do plenty plenty of things now, I haven't gotten anything in here yet, but I've got the basic look and feel of the room all planned out, which I really like. I have, like, the upstairs area over there, or up ladder, I guess you'd say, because I just put a ladder right there to get down to this area. And hopefully no gas spawn in here. I don't think it's enough room, but it may be. <laughs> I, we may be unpleasantly surprised one of these days. But I've got plenty of room for storage here. I think about like maybe putting barrels in the wall here for all the different wool types. And then we'll have like the workstation area down there where we can make the various banners. We'll have to do something over here too. A little storage, decoration, something else going on there. And then we've got the window to look out to the abyss of the nether, which I really, really like that, you know, it's just kind of hanging here. And all in all, I really like what we got going on here. The lighting is kind of carried on from our other tunnels, but I added the blackstone slabs up there just so we wouldn't have to see the nether, the nether rack? Yeah. Like we have over here in these tunnels, because they're so long, it'd be really hard to decorate this whole tunnel out. Maybe one of these days, but not today. But for this short little tunnel, I thought that made sense. I like, you know, using all of these color combinations together. We might work in a couple of different colors. I don't know, because I mean, we will have wool and stuff down here to work with. So we've got to kind of keep that in mind too. And then we've got like these three like big chunky areas here, like a big chunky area here, and then like a smaller one over here. But I think now I'm gonna try to get some of my detail blocks out, figure out some lighting in here first of all, or we might just do lighting as we go along. Just kind of having lantern here, lantern there. Because I don't know if we can carry this kind of lighting pattern in through here. Because we're already going sideways here. And I think it'd look weird. Do we even have a center for this? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we don't. <laughs> so no, we couldn't do this really hanging down thing. Unless we did six, seven, eight. Now that's still even. 
So there's no middle here. Which kind of stinks, but eh. You know what? Still looks good. We'll make it work. I predict's done so far, and I think I like how this looks. Let's take a quick tour, look up there. I had some lighting here with the shroom lights hanging down with the chains. I thought that looked cool, plus it kind of, you know, gives us a little something extra going on down here that's different than up there. And up there, in the little upper deck area, we have kind of wool carpets and wool all over the ground. Because, you know, it's getting messy down here, making all these banners. And then I kind of carried this thing down from over there, just to kind of, you know, keep some of these patterns and stuff going. You know, make it feel like it's all been built around the same area, around the same theme. Over here we have a little workstation area, which we have all the looms kind of secretly hidden right there. They look like empty bookshelves is what I'm going for there, which I like. I think it looks really cool there. And then we have secluded storage down here, which I haven't moved anything over into yet. But we've got, what, three different areas there where we can store, like, the different patterns and stuff. Now, for this area down here, I think this is where we're going to do, like, just, I don't know, like, the banners I've already made, I'll store down here. And I don't know if I want to do some kind of, like, organized system or if we just want to put, like, a chest with a banner, like, hanging here and being like, that's where those are. And go on with something like that. I mean, I've got all this area down here to kind of fill up. And we want to leave a little bit of room to grow, too, just in case we add more patterns and stuff, because I'm going to have what I guess you could call uh, most wanted, most needed. I think it's in this one. Yeah. See, like I renamed all these papers just to remind me what we need um, banners for. So here we need one for the new jungle project. There we need one for the nether bunker. Need one for the bunny farm, need one for the mining mesa, need one for the blaze farm, and we need one for the derpy stronghold. So that'll be future projects to kind of work on down here, either on camera or off. I think I'm maybe about hanging some like just generic banners around here. There's still a lot more to do, but I'm going to work on this little area down here and come back and show you what I got. There you go, and I think that just about does it. Yeah, we got the upper section done. We got the lower section down here done. Let's kind of take a quick look around. I went with a banner and then a barrel. Banner, barrel, banner, barrel, banner, barrel. So each one, you know, you can just look inside. I'd be like, oh, I need one of these. So I can grab one of those, do to do, take it away. There we go. And I'm going to make more duplicates and stuff too as time goes on, except for these. These are the special ones you get, the ominous banners. That was my collection thus far. Unless I've got some stored elsewhere. I might have some on the Turtle Rock Island, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I like this. It looks a little busy, I know. But sometimes busy is good. Busy dis right. Busy distracts from, you know, just the boring old nether brick patterns that we got going on here. But even that I kinda like here. I'm so in love with the black stone. I'm so happy they added that texture into the game because there's just so much more you can do with it and mixing it in with like nether type buildings. Oh, I think we did good work here today. I think that's probably gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys again next time.